Windows Hello is an amazing feature of Windows 10. Having used many fingerprint scanners on various laptops, I have to say it's really hard to justify using an actual password and pin code when you can just swipe your finger and it just logs you straight in. It's just perfect. But desktops lack this feature simply because there's nowhere really to put a fingerprint scanner inside a computer case. So there is no built-in option, but you can get external options. And today we're gonna to be looking at one of the cheapest options the Igis Tech ES603. So this thing retails at about £10 here in the UK, but is it actually worth that price tag? So in the box you get the little Aegis Tick fingerprint scanner, the world's shortest USB cable, and one of them little mini CDs which I instantly lost because my laptop and desktop both lack optical drives. I assume it had drivers on it, but obviously that disc is long gone and totally useless to us. And like pretty much every other fingerprint scanner I've ever used, the Aegis Tick ES603 man that's a name that rolls off the tongue does not come with any drivers built into windows 10 so we're going to have to download some from the internet specifically we're going to download some for an acer travel mate the p446m a truly awful laptop in all sense of imagination but it has the drivers we need so let's download them and bam you can now set up a fingerprint in windows hello it was that easy but was it worth it? And unfortunately, no. This thing is about as accurate as Windows Vista's speech recognition. It takes many attempts to get it to scan your actual fingerprint and it usually gets it wrong anyway. So it's you're not very good. It doesn't scan 50% of the time, which is not very good when you're trying to log into your computer. Now I know these scanners are not gonna be ever 100% accurate. I know that the one on my ThinkPad, it takes a couple of times sometimes. Usually when I have dirty fingers or there's dirt on the fingerprint scanner itself, but this is a clean scanner with a clean finger and it still doesn't scan half the time. That's not very good. This fingerprint scanner does however beat my mate's Dell XPS, which he couldn't actually enroll a fingerprint on. But this is still a rubbish scanner because it doesn't scan half the time. That's not very useful when you're trying to log into your computer quickly. So unfortunately, this is not a recommendation from me. There is much better options out there. I'll leave a few links to some better ones in the description if you're interested, but I will not be leaving links to this because it's not that good. Half the time I can't log into my computer using it and I'm gonna be seeking a better solution myself because that thing's just rubbish. That's it for me. Be sure to leave a comment down below if you've got one. There's a like button somewhere if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe for your dose of tech. Oh, man.